Yo Mark, I just created an NFT drop. I don't have money. What do you mean it's free? You still need to pay gas, right? So you are telling me you cannot afford gas fees? No, I cannot. Nobody wants to pay for a free NFT. Okay, please don't tell me that I need to make it gasless. Of course you need to. Ah, oh, come on. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Atharva here and Mark is correct that gasless transactions are very important. It reduces the friction between the user and your application because most of the time the users cannot afford the gas fee. And you can solve that problem by making your transactions gasless. Now, how exactly you can do that? Somehow you need to pay gas, right? So you can pay the gas on the behalf of the, of the user and make your transactions gasless for the user. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how to do that and we are going to create an NFT drop so that Mark can claim NFT without paying any gas fees. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so let's get started. First, we will go to thirdweb.com and here we are going to click on start building and we are going to connect our wallet from which we are going to deploy our NFT drop. So let's select our wallet. Perfect. And now we are going to deploy a new contract. We are going to deploy an NFT drop. Click on deploy now. And in the name, we are just going to give it gasless drop and everything should be fine. You can just uh, just make changes according to you. And then we are just going to click on deploy now. Now this should take some time depending on the network or whatever network you are using. If you're using Goerli, this should be relatively faster. But getting funds on Goeli is a lot different scenario and I'm going to make a video on that and possible ways to get funds on testnet and how to completely avoid testnet. So stay tuned for that. But for now, let's wait for this to complete and we will be redirected to our dashboard. So yeah, successfully deployed contract. Now we are on this page. Perfect. So here now we are going to upload some NFTs and for some reason we got disconnected from a wallet. So let me just click on MetaMask again. Perfect. And now let me just get the collection we need to upload. So we have this collection here. We are just going to upload. So I'm going to click on batch upload and I'm just going to drop this folder. You can just individually upload any images but for now just getting this quick so we are just going to batch upload these and i have this set of nfts already made and i'm just going to click on next we are going to click reveal reveal upon mint and we are going to click on upload five nfts now this should take some time depending on the collection size so i'll just skip this part and i'll be back when this is done now that our nfts are uploaded we need to set a claim condition so that the drop is claimable. So let's click on set claim conditions and we are going to add an initial claim phase. The date and time may vary, but it's defaulted to the current time. So we'll just leave that and unlimited NFTs can be claimed and we're going to charge zero and we're going to click on save claim phases and this should open up MetaMask again. And let's click on confirm and this should take some time. And once this is done, we can just claim NFTs and by default, you can just claim NFTs using this contract without any gasless configuration, but we are going to use gasless configuration using Open Zeppelin Def Defender. So let's go ahead to Open Zeppelin Defender. We are going to search in on Google and just open the link. Perfect. We are going to sign up for free. Although we have an account, it will ask us to log in. Okay. So I'm already logged in. So if you aren't logged in, you can just create an account. It's as simple as creating an email and password. So we're just going to click on relay and here all your gasless relayers would be here. So you can just click on create relay and you can name this anything. So we're just going to name it gasless drop. And we are going to select the network on which the contract is deployed on. So we are going to use Mumbai here and then we are click on create. This shouldn't take a lot of time. And when this, once this is created, we are going to send some funds so that it is used for paying the gas fees. So 
the secret key it doesn't matter in this case so we are just going to click on have written down the secret key we are going to copy the ethereum address and click on go to the layer and for now we have zero matic here and we need to send some so we are just going to go and send some matic here and i'm going to send two matic we are going to click on next let's send this if you're using this for testing you won't even need one matic i'm just going to send two matic if if in case we need more but if you're in production environment you might need quite some matic depending on the usage so let's reload this and see if we have two matic here now perfect and now what we need to do is we need to go to auto task and we need to create a new auto task we are going to name it gasless drop and this is going to be a webhook we are going to connect it to the gasless drop relay which we just created and the code here is pretty important and i have the code in a gist file so you don't need to worry about it and this code you don't need to worry about it the third web team has provided this code to use so we won't be looking at the entire code so let's just copy the entire code for some reason it it's let's click on raw and let's just copy the entire code and let's paste it here and now click on create now this should create your auto task so that it does the gasless transaction properly so let's wait for this meanwhile we can just go and create our next js application where is the terminal oh it's here okay so it's in the gasless drop auto task is running so we need this webhook uri so we will just copy this let's go to our terminal and let's create our next JS application so npx create next app and we are going to call this gasless drop now the create next app wizard has changed and now it asks if you want to like if you want to use typescript for this project but since this project is a targeted towards beginners i will be using javascript so yeah now let's wait for this this shouldn't take a lot of time but um let's wait for this and we also need to install some dependencies from third web so we need to do after this is complete perfect our next js application is created now we are going to go to gasless drop and let's clear the screen and now let's install some packages yarn at at the red third web dev slash sdk at the red third web dev slash react and ethos so basically we are installing the dependencies which will help us build this application and since we created our contracts with third web it would make sense to use third webs for this thing and it won't take a lot of code to make our transactions gasless basically we just need to pass in the webhook url and it will do its magic so yeah let's wait for this to complete and we'll move forward now that the dependence installation is complete we can go ahead and open our code editor and also run the application so let's do code dot and yarn dev to run the server now our code editor should open let's get this to full screen yes i trust the authors let's go to pages and app.js and here we are going to use the third web provider and this is basically where our gasless configuration will lie so let's go back here and let's just cut this and we're just going to use third web provider and just paste in the component here so now our app is wrapped between third web provider our entire application can use the third web features but since we are going to use gasless feature we are going to need the webhook url and we need to pass in some things to our environment variables so let's create a new file called dot env dot local and here we're going to say next public open zeppelin what do i call it open zeppelin relayer 
url and here we're going to paste the url um i need to copy it again let me just drag windows perfect i'll just paste this here and we are going to also make another environment variable next public nft drop address and i'm going to copy the address here and paste it perfect and now we are just going back to app.js and here we're going to say desired chain id should be chain id dot mumbai because we are going to use polygon mumbai in this tutorial by the way you can use any chain if you want to even main nets that won't matter so yeah now let's do sdk options and we are going to use gasless and here we are going to use open zeppelin and we are going to use the layer url and we are just going to use the environment variable here so i'll just copy this and do process dot env dot next public open zeppelin relay url and let's save the file and it auto formats perfect now whatever transactions whatever free transactions the app is producing it will go through the relayer and it will all be gasless um, and all the code will just remain same and if you just re remove this code all your code will automatically become not gasless so you need to pay the gas fees so this is how it works you just need to change the code at one place now in index.js we don't need anything from main till the footer so we are just going to get rid of this and save the file and this is where all we are going to do all the changes first of all let's initialize the contract we are going to do const we are going to open an object here and we are going to we are going to just say use contract and we are just going to say process.env dot and we are just going to copy the next public nft drop address and paste this here and the second parameter should be the type of the contract so we're just going to use nft drop because uh, it will give us better suggestions so yep now here we're just going to get contract here perfect and then we are going to have const another object and we are going to use use claim nft so this hook provides us essential functions so that you can claim nfts and it also shows you the loading state so you don't need to worry about loading states by yourself so we're just going to pass in the contract here and then here we are just going to get mutate async and we're going to call it claim and is loading perfect and now here we are going to have the connect wallet component but first let's have a div so that we limit the width here because by default the connect wallet component occupies the entire width of the screen so let's just give it a style of width of 200 pixels and by the way the connect wallet component gives you different methods to connect your wallet and it's the most recommended way of connecting the wallet so yeah let's use the connect wallet component here perfect and then we are going to check if the user is logged in or not so we are just going to do const address is equal to use address and now we are going to check this so we are just going to say if address is not undefined or else the address is exist we are just going to render out a div um, and let's close this div and now we are going to have a button which on click is going to claim nft which is a function we are going to make and this go this button is going to be disabled if if the use claim nft is loading so we're just going to say is loading so whenever the nft is being claimed the button will automatically get disabled and we don't we don't need to do anything about the loading states so yeah and we're just going to say claim nfts and now let's create the claim nft function this is going to be an asynchronous function 
we are going to use try catch and let's do console dot error and we are just going to do alert unable to mint nft and then we here we are just going to have const data is equal to await claim and here we are just going to pass in some option and the only option we need okay so i just misspelled of it uh, here we're going to need the quantity and we're just going to claim one at a time so yeah and then we're just going to have an alert so, and here we're going to have claim successful token id and we're just going to use this and say data zero so data is going to be an array and inside it they have the token id and by default that's a big number so we're just going to convert it to string and here we are just going to do alert because we know that the transaction is successful if it is not successful it will go to the catch block so by the time it the code reaches here we know that the transaction is successful so we don't need to worry about that now let's test our app we are going to go to localhost 3000 so by default we have a wallet connected if we just go and disconnect you see the button disappears and we just we can just click on any of these to connect with any wallet we want to we are going to use metamask and now we have this claim nft button and if we click on this the button gets disabled because it's loading and now we have metamask pop up and this is not a transaction request this is a sign request because this is a gasless transaction and you just need to sign this message in order to authorize the transaction so let's wait for all this to complete and we will have an alert on the screen very soon so let's wait for that okay so claim successful token id is zero so we're just going to click on ok and let's go back to our dashboard into nft section and the first nft is claimed and the rest are unclaimed still so yeah the nfts are getting claimed so yeah we just made mark happy and made it gasless nft drop note that you can use the same auto task for any contract from third web and it will work just fine and i think that gasless transactions are very important and somewhere down the line most of the companies would be needing to use gasless transaction because a lot of people don't prefer paying gas fees just to use an application so it makes complete sense to use gasless transaction instead so yeah um, this was just a quick tutorial i will have all the links in the description and a huge shout out to avnish he's also a developer advocate at third web he wrote this article so i'll just link the article in the description and you can have a read and yeah that's it from me in this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye